M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to talk to you about the new version of Chirp, which is called Next Chirp. So Chirp's been out for many years and the existing daily Chirp version is still available as always. If we have a look here at the new version, it is called Next. So we'll just click here and it says Chirp Next and then it says 20230. And today is the 8th of January, 2023. And it's, it's still, you know, it's still being um, improved. But it's, as far as I can see, it works great. So let's open it up. We've got my Bofeng AAAS connected to it at the moment. Fantastic little radio, very cheap to buy. So let's do it. Radio, we'll go download. Now just to show you that all these different models that you can use on it, um, let's just, for example, choose Yesu. And then look, you've got all these models here. And I've got the 817, so we'll be able to play with that one soon. But today we're using the... Bofeng, go to Bofeng at the top here, like so, and port is 10. We can find that by just going right click device manager, double click ports, and there it is there, 10, COM 10. So let's read, click OK. It's going to read or clone from the radio. Now these radios don't have a screen, and they're the same radios that are inside my all star node and the audio is just excellent so there's not much on here as you can see um, so let's have a quick look let's see if we can add a channel i've not used this software for such a long time and this radio only holds 16 channels so let's add a channel so double click that like so and we'll just put in let's have a think now i've put in g oh it's a 70 centimeter radio we'll put in zb which is four three actually we'll put in BS, GB3 BS 430.850. We'll choose the tone squelch, which is tone. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 118 on that repeater. 118. Like so. Can we name it? I'm sure we can. Where's the name on this? Well, it's a screenless radius, so maybe. We'll Maybe you don't get that option. So that's fine. And then we just write that to the radio. So upload to radio, click OK. And it works fine. Let's go to settings. So apparently the layout is, is smoother and it's a you know it's an improved version. There are some notes on this that are we we may have a look at if I can find them again. Query source. So there you go, this is the new version of Chirp. Most of the information I get is on John's site, John McClure, K3NXU. Let's scroll down and I've been clicking here. This is what's prompted me to, to have a look at all the information. Let's go back, see what else we can find. A new build is available, see more. Next generation, McClure Chirp, latest download. <coughs> Legacy build, not used that before. So I'll put this page in the description because it's got some good information there, screenshots and it talks about the fact that it's more like a spreadsheet and the improvements, easier to navigate, multi-memory editing, unified bank editor, settings editor, so lots of really good information there and we'll test it on a few radios as well. Probably test it on my Yesu FT17X probably. So thanks for watching, thought I'd show it you, put the links in and thanks to John as well and everyone involved. 7-3, all the best.